Hello, I'm Graham Collingford. I'm the Master Technician of Sossets Caravan Centre. The caravan we're in is a Luna Quasar. It's a 534 2012. And what I'm going to demonstrate today, or at the moment, is the floor mounted water pressure switch that controls the water flow from the pump. What I've done initially, before we dive into it, I've uh, purged the water system in the caravan. So I've got the external pump, I've put it in the water, full water butt, I've given it a good shake, okay, to get the air out of the pump, and then I've plugged it into the caravan. That's the way you really need to do it. Once it's plugged in, make sure your drain valve isn't in the vertical position, it's in the horizontal position, and then the water won't just pour out into the field. Okay, then what I've done, I've come into the caravan, I've opened the hot tap, okay, to fill up the heater, the water heater. Very important we do that first, certainly before we put any heating on, as I've explained in another video. Um, once you get a free flow of water, say through the kitchen tap, um, I then go to the bathroom tap, and then I go through the shower head. Okay, all you've got to do is make sure the air is out of the system, not just on the hot now, but also the cold. Once you've purged the system, I shall show you it not working correctly and then how to set it up. Right, initially, you should only need to do this on your first setup of the week. Okay, the difference, um, the thing to remember is the difference. The thing to remember is, if you're on a site with hookup, this should stay constant. If you're on a natural site or a, you know, in a field and you're relying on your battery uh, only, then as the battery runs low, uh, you may have to readjust the pressure switch. Um, I do know you will have to adjust the pressure switch between hookup and not hookup. Right, this is the floor mounted whale pressure switch, the water pressure switch that we are going to demonstrate now what happens if it's not set up correctly. I'm going to now turn the cold water tap on in the kitchen. Right, the pump is now cutting in and out. So now what you, you, while it's trying to flow, what you don't want to do is to keep that going. So I'm gonna turn the tap off, I'm in the kitchen. It's now built up pressure and it's now working correctly. The correct place to adjust this water pressure switch has to be the shower on cold. Okay, you need to run it through the shower head on cold. It's the furthest distance usually away from the pressure switch and it's the, it's the place where you need constant pressure. I shall now demonstrate how to adjust it. Right, I'm not going to flow the cold water into the shower, sorry, just because it's a bit of a mess. I'm very conveniently got a sink right next to the shower. So I'm gonna place the shower head into the sink so I can do it on my own. I'm gonna turn the cold water on, which will make the pressure switch do this clicking, which isn't right, and we need a constant flow. That's where I'm going there. So I'll turn this on. Right, so the pressure switch is clicking off and on, on the cold of the shower. Okay, so what we need to do is turn this clockwise, so we're winding it downwards. Okay, and what we want is a continuous flow of water. You can hear the pump, okay, and not, not cutting out. I'm only doing quarter, quarter of a turns at a time. Now, when it flows like that and doesn't cut out, that is set. 